the police there, that there's, there's already some trouble. They're beating the crowd back here. Uh, while the, the casket has been uh, taken through the gates there, they're holding back a large numbers of the crowd. But um, I'm not sure what, what, what's, what's going on here. You can see these pictures too, right? Marwan, hang on, Marwan is speaking, we can't hear him, hang on a second. Marwan, I think we can hear you now. I have never seen security forces attack a funeral with such audacity, with such chutzpah, the way this scene is, is evolving right now in front of us. They are just trying to carry and they're trying to bury one of their own and the police is there as if there is an enemy ahead of them. It's their own victim being buried and here they are with such, uh, with such an incredible, incredible rudeness. Again, I mean, I have, I have reported, I have analyzed, I have looked at news throughout the world for decades and I've never seen a scene like this. Look at that. Attacking innocent people, carrying a casket. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say anymore. W what are they expecting now? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Such disrespect for the dead and for those who are mourning the dead. No respect for people alive and no respect for the people dead. Adrian, please tell me and maybe our, our viewers around the world will tell us how are these people a threat to Israel? How are they a threat to security? They are in their courtyard trying to mourn one of their own dead. How is that a security threat to anyone? How is that disorderly? Why does that require this kind of repression, this kind of violence on the part of Israelis? And again, these people are under orders to carry such an attack. These people don't carry such attack on their own. They have been ordered to do this. And the world is watching. The world is watching.